Please watch this video to the end to find out how you can get low-cost veterinary care for your beloved companion animal. And while we're at it, please kindly take a moment to subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, like, share, and comment below. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. I found a lot of agencies that can help you tackle those costly veterinary care expenses and get the care your fur baby needs. The first one is AVMF's Veterinary Care Charitable Fund. It provides funds to partner veterinary clinics so that those clinics can provide free and low-cost veterinary care. You can only access these funds through a participating veterinarian who must apply on your behalf. Veterinary clinics and hospitals that partner with the AVMF can offer free and low-cost veterinary services to clients who cannot afford veterinary care. The intention of this program is to help low-income people avoid euthanizing or surrendering their beloved pets. Ask your local veterinarian if they are an AVMF partner. If so, they can request these funds on your behalf. The next one is Brown Dog Foundation. This small volunteer foundation receives many more requests than it can reasonably fill. However, they do prioritize donations to pets whose lives are in literal danger. Please contact them for more information. The next one is Canine Cancer Awareness. This agency provides financial assistance for veterinary care of dogs with cancer. The next one is Cooper's Legacy Foundation. Washington and Idaho families with companion dogs and cats who require treatment may be able to receive funds from this organization. The next one is Dylan's Hearts. Funding for low-cost veterinary help is reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis for low-income pet owners and their pets, proof of financial need, and a documented diagnosis treatment plan are required for services. Veterinarians must complete the application on behalf of their clients, so be sure to refer your veterinarian to the Dylan's Hearts website. The next one is Frankie's Friends. Pets with life-threatening conditions who have a good prognosis of returning to health may be able to receive assistance from Frankie's friends when funding is available. You may receive a grant of up to $500 to assist with your beloved pet's veterinary cost. The next one is Friends and Vets Helping Pets. This agency provides assistance to individuals and families whose income is equal to or less than 200% of the federal poverty guideline. All applicants must demonstrate financial need. You will be expected to contribute financially, but their contributions ensure that it's still low-cost veterinary care. The next one is Handicapped Pets Foundation. This agency provides mobility equipment grants to elderly, disabled, and special needs animals whose owners can't afford it. Approved applicants will receive a notice within 10 days of submitting an application. The next one is Harley's Hope Foundation. Pets with low-income owners can receive financial assistance for their treatments. These funds are offered for major or emergency care, behavioral or specialty treatment. In order to qualify, pets must already have a diagnosis, treatment plan, and a fair to good prognosis of recovery. The next one is Hope Mending Hearts. Pet owners and rescuers may be able to receive a grant of up to $200 from Hope Mending Hearts. Decisions are based on funding, eligibility, financial need, and medical urgency. Typically, you will receive an email response within two business days. The next one is Ian Summerhalder Foundation. Rescue pets may be able to receive up to $1,000 to assist with recovery from traumatic injuries, abuse, or neglect. The next one is International Association of Assistance Dog Partners. 
United States IAADP partner members who have an adult hearing guide or service dog may be eligible for a grant to help with veterinary cost. These grants must be applied for by the veterinarian. It is important to realize that members who apply themselves will not be eligible for a grant. The next one is Magic Bullet Fund. Dogs with cancer diagnosis may be eligible for assistance from the Magic Bullet Fund. It is important to realize that funds can only be used for the first course of treatment and cannot be used for palliative care or euthanasia. Dogs must meet certain requirements including both age and weight limits. The next one is Mosby Foundation. This agency only serves dogs that have already been spayed or neutered. It is important to realize that they do not assist with emergencies nor do they reimburse already paid bills. Funding is limited and can only be granted once per household. Pledged funds expire after 60 days if unused. The next one is Onyx and Breezy Foundation. In addition to a diagnosis, you will also have to provide a prognosis and cost estimate to receive help from the Onyx and Breezy Foundation. They must also provide a tax return and a care credit denial letter. The next one is Pause for a Cure. This organization may provide up to $500 for urgent veterinary needs. In order to qualify, you must read the entire guidelines and policies document, complete the online application, and add their email address to your address book. The next one is Pet Fund. If you cannot afford care, the Pet Fund may be able to help you obtain low-cost veterinary care. Your pet must need something that is not urgent and not basic. They will assist with cancer treatments and chronic conditions, but they will not help with broken limbs. There is typically a waiting list for assistance. The next one is Pet Assistance Inc. If you've taken good care of your pet for a while but can't afford a current medical problem, Pet Assistance Inc may be able to help. Grants are only available for urgent or life-threatening problems. The pet must have a good prognosis of recovery. At least this agency can provide money-saving advice, referrals, and guidance. When you email getapet at gmail.com for help, be sure to include your name, address, phone number, photo of your pet, summary, and vet estimate. The photo may be used in newsletters or on their website. The next one is Pit Bulls Against Misinformation. Pit Bulls Against Misinformation serves all dogs, regardless of breed. It is important to realize that dogs must have a good prognosis, 70% or better chance of survival. Owners must be receiving government assistance or have a care credit denial to qualify for the grant. The next one is Red Flyer. This pet community loans wheelchairs to disabled pets. You need to message their Facebook page in order to apply or call 727-639-9285 between 9.30 a.m and 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The next one is Red Rover Relief. You can get financial assistance, emotional support, and resources from Red Rover Relief. They serve pet guardians who are struggling financially while their pets are struggling medically. They provide grants, usually around $200, under those circumstances. Applications are processed online, so a response is usually sent via email within two business days. Red Rover Relief also offers a comprehensive list of organizations that may be able to help you. The next one is Rydell and Cody Fund. The Rydell and Cody Fund only provides funding for chemotherapy and radiation treatments. The next one is Veterinary Care Foundation. 
if your veterinarian is affiliated with veterinary care foundation then they can request funds for you if your veterinarian is not a vcf partner then you can encourage them to check out the website for more membership information and the next one is fluffy rx you can save a lot of money by taking a written pet prescription to your local pharmacy instead of filling it at the veterinary office with fluffy rx you can save even more money this program is free to use and can help you save money on your pet's prescription just download the fluffy rx app and activate it now please keep in mind this is just a prescription discount card for pets not insurance and it's to help you find low cost veterinary medicine i hope you found this information helpful please let me know by commenting below